Hi and welcome back. This series is all about saying wow to the amazing things that God can do. When Jesus was on earth, he did a whole lot of miracles. He did these to help people, to heal sick people, and to show people that he really was the Son of God. These things remind us that our God is big and powerful. There is nothing that is too difficult for him. Last week, we learned about how Jesus took one little boy's lunch, two fish and five loaves of bread, and he used it to give enough food to 5,000 people, and there were even leftovers. Today, our story is about how Jesus calmed a storm. Now, have you ever been in a storm where there was thunder and lightning, maybe hail, and it was a little bit scary? Now, imagine being in a storm while you're on a little boat in the middle of a lake. That must be really scary. And that's exactly what happened to Jesus' friends. Now, if I tried to control the weather and if there was a big storm and there was thunder and lightning and I said, hey, thunder, hey, lightning, stop that. When anything happen? Nope, I can't control the weather even one little bit. But our God is so big and powerful that even the weather listens to him. Let's go and find out more about today's wow story about how Jesus calmed the storm. Wow! Stories of the Bible. Jesus calms the storm. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water oh, hey guys. and even raised people from the dead. Uh, One day after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. And as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. Uh -oh. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up, shouting, Hey, Jesus, wake up! Save us! We are going to drown! Don't you care if we drown? Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, saying, Silence! Be still! Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. Wow and wow. I love that story because it reminds me that sometimes we all go through storms. Maybe not physical storms with rain and lightning and thunder. But we all go through scary things in our lives and sometimes things feel difficult. And when we find ourselves in those storms, we can know that Jesus is with us, just like he was with his friends on that boat. And he just has to say one thing, shh, calm down storm, and everything can become calm. Jesus is always with us, even when we go through hard things. And he is strong and powerful enough to help us, even when we feel weak and small. Can you think of a time that was really stormy in your own life? Maybe something went wrong or maybe you lost someone that you loved. Or maybe you had to do something really hard or start a new school or you were fighting with someone. Any of those things can be really tough. But our story from today reminds us that when we have Jesus with us, when we are filled with his Holy Spirit, then he is with us in our storms and he will help us and keep us safe. So here I have two balloons. This one is empty, it just has air in it, and this one has water in it. So this lighter, this fire, is going to represent the storms that we face. Let's see what happens when our empty balloon comes into contact with a storm. 
Whoa, it doesn't last very long, does it? Now let's see what happens when we have a filled up balloon. So let's pretend that this one is filled up by the Holy Spirit and has Jesus inside. This balloon lasts. When Jesus is with us, we can go through really difficult things, but he gives us his power and his strength. He can calm our storms. Our memory verse for today comes from Psalm 89, verse 13, and it reminds us how big and strong our God is. It says, you are strong and mighty. We serve a God who is stronger than anything else we can face, and he is mighty, he is big and powerful, and he loves you. So let's say our verse together, Psalm 89, verse 13. You are strong and mighty. Can you try it on your own? Psalm 89 verse 13 says, Good job.